Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice we are looking at Spotlight. Spotlight's a pretty cool feature for the iPhone, but sometimes it can get a little bit messy. Now what I mean by that is if you're trying to search for something like, let's just put Y-E, right? It'll pull up a bunch of messages, it'll pull up a bunch of emails, and it'll pull up any apps or notes, anything associated with that. Like if I want to go type in G-A. Oh, Game Center, Nyan Cat, pulls up a bunch of contacts, messages. Sometimes that's not always in the order that you want it to be. And there's actually an easy way to fix this. You can actually customize Spotlight to search through whatever you want on your phone. There's actually a bunch of options that you may not know about. So let's go ahead and check out all the customization options that are available for Spotlight. I want to go into our settings app and inside the settings go down to general. And right on the general page about halfway down you'll see Spotlight search. You'll see a big list of items here that are available to search through in Spotlight. Now we can have these enabled, we can also disable them by unchecking them like this, just by tapping on them. And we can also prioritize them. We can rearrange them so specific items pull up before other ones. So if I want to search through my applications more than I do my messages, I can move my applications up in the priority list. I can also move my contacts up, my mail, and all you do is drag on these little bars right here on the side little three bars you just drag them up like that and rearrange them how you'd like like I said you can also disable them I don't ever search through podcasts or videos or music what if I don't want mail to show up in there I can turn that off I mean I can make everything but my application show up in there so let's turn all those off now I just have applications enabled at the top go back to the home screen and if you go to spotlight here anything I type in is gonna pull up apps if I have an app under that name I typed in a T and all these apps that start with T or have a T in it pull up. And you can refine that too if you type in YouTube. Okay, so these two items are pulling up now. So as you can see, you can customize Spotlight to work exactly how you'd like just by using the options in here. And we can enable and disable things if we'd like. Another cool feature of Spotlight too is uh, this keyboard sometimes is in the way. You can actually drag that down and be able to look through a full list of items here instead of having that mangy keyboard in the way sometimes. So again, in order to customize Spotlight, you just wanna go into the Settings app, go down to General, go halfway down to Spotlight Search, tap on that, and you can enable or disable things. And you can also drag them from the side here and move them up to prioritize them. So I hope this was helpful for everyone. If you have any tips you'd like to send in and see on iOS advice, please email dom at appadvice.com and let me know. Thanks again and have a great day.